Welcome to video three in our three-part nutrition series. My name is Angie Madke, registered dietitian for the Outpatient and Bariatric Program. This video will review your vitamin and mineral needs after having weight loss surgery. Vitamin supplementation is a lifelong requirement to prevent deficiencies. Your food path has been rerouted and your absorption has been decreased as well as you're not eating as much food as you once did. So vitamin supplementation is crucial to your success and well-being. Multivitamin and mineral supplementation dosage may differ slightly depending on the procedure you have. It is recommended both type of surgery strive to meet 200% the daily value for most nutrients, which could mean taking up to two multivitamin mineral supplements per day. There are four main vitamins recommended after having a weight loss surgery. A multivitamin and mineral, D3, calcium, and B12. Additional vitamin and mineral supplementation may be necessary if abnormal blood work is indicated. It is advised to start your supplementation starting when you can tolerate soft foods, usually around week three or according to your surgeon. Depending on the surgical procedure you had, the pill form and tolerance may also differ. However, our bariatric team recommends starting with a chewable tablet or liquid vitamin form. The chart here details the criteria for a multivitamin mineral supplement. When choosing a vitamin and mineral supplement, evaluate the label for the following. Iron, 18 milligrams, and upwards of 45 to 60 milligrams for menstruating women. One to two milligrams copper, eight to 22 milligrams zinc, vitamin A, 5,000 to 10,000 IUs, greater than 12 milligrams thiamine or B1, 400 to 800 micrograms folate or B9, and upwards of 800 to 1,000 micrograms of folate for women of childbearing age, 15 milligrams of vitamin E, and 90 to 120 micrograms of vitamin K. It is best to avoid gummy vitamin forms as they are usually nutrient inadequate. In addition to the multivitamin, 1200 to 1500 milligrams calcium per day is recommended. Calcium is the best absorbed in smaller doses, so taking 600 milligrams twice a day or 500 milligrams three times per day is advised. Of note, for maximum absorption, do not take your calcium with an iron supplement or with a multivitamin containing iron. Depending on the form of calcium, food may or may not be required when taking this vitamin. The recommended amount of vitamin D3 is 3,000 IUs a day. If blood work is sufficient, you may be able to drop this additional supplement and obtain from your multivitamin and food alone. For vitamin B12, 350 to 1,000 micrograms a day is recommended. B12 can be taken in multiple forms, including nasally, monthly injections, or sublingually. It is best to avoid any time-release B12 supplements. For more guidance on vitamins and mineral needs, you can reference the American Society Metabolic Bariatric Surgery Guidelines at asmbs.org. Bariatric-specific formulas are also available, which may help simplify your vitamin and mineral regimen. It is advised to compare ingredient labels against recommended micronutrient recommendations to address any gaps in your nutrient supplements. The American Society of Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery, ASMBS, provides evidence-based guidelines and recommendations for all weight loss surgery patients. Here are some of the names of the more popular bariatric-specific formulas. Our education packet includes multiple resources and reading lists along with sample meal plans, journal templates. If you find you are in need of additional support, please feel free to reach out to one of the bariatric team members. This concludes our nutrition video series. We hope you have enjoyed these mini videos and wish you the best in your journey ahead. Thank you.